Hello, I'm Herrick Kimball, and in this video I'm going to tell you a wonderful little story about a tool reunion, and then I'm going to ask you a question. But first, let me explain. I am sitting here at my dining room table, and I am assembling and adjusting classic American clothespins. This is a idea, a business that I started many years ago because America needed a good quality clothespin. There were no more American manufacturers. A lot of you already know this story. Anyway, it is very tedious and time-consuming to make and assemble and adjust the clothespins. I adjust them to get them to uh, close without a side bite. You know, instead of one at the bottom being this way and the top this way. By adjusting the pin, the, uh, the ends of the uh, springs, I can bring the clothespin bite, I call it the bite, into alignment. Anyway, probably nobody else does that, but I do that, and it's very tedious, and I am uh, working on it now. I've been working on it for the past week or two, and I'll be working on it through December into January. I have about 5,000 clothespins to make and finish, to adjust and finish, and uh, then I'll be done, and um, other people can do this. But uh, classic American clothespins will be will be out of stock. So that's what I'm doing. It's an explanation. I need a break, so I'm making this video. And um, I do have coffee here, and I want to tell you that I have been putting turmeric, turmeric into my coffee. Turmeric is a superfood, along with a little uh, maple syrup and some cream. It's uh, really good and it's good for you. So there's a little a little tip. So let me tell you that story now. It was 2020, I believe, three years ago, when I got a call out of the blue from an old friend of mine named Vance. And he said, hey, Eric, do you remember that bathroom we remodeled for the Gremlies? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, I'm here remodeling it again, and I found something of yours. And I thought to myself, why is he remodeling the bathroom again? We already did it. And I expressed something along those lines to him. And he said, we remodeled this bathroom in 1989. That was more than 30 years ago. And then it hit me that I'm becoming an old man and 30 years is pretty much the lifespan of, it's actually a good lifespan for a bathroom. So Vance was redoing the bathroom. He sent me a picture. This is the picture right here. And it shows that I actually signed and dated this bathroom. April 1989. April 1989 was right before I left the employment of the guy I was working for, the contractor at that time, and went into business for myself. I had worked for nine years for contractors, two different contractors in this area. In 1988, the year before this bathroom got remodeled, my wife and I had our first child. We made the decision that she would stay home to be a mother, full-time mother, for that child and the, and the two others that would come along. So um, that was a, an economic adjustment because she always made more money than me. She was a medical office assistant for a local doctor. We uh, had to adjust, and part of the adjustment was I figured I got to step up to the plate here and make more money, and the only way I knew that I could possibly do that was to go into business for myself. So me and my friend Steve, who I've mentioned in previous videos, went into business for ourselves. We called our, our company Best Built Construction. We had a good run. But anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, Vance uh, said, hey, can I stop up uh, a little bit later and I'll, I'll give you this tool? And I said, yeah, sure. So he stops up and he comes in and he says, remember this? And for a minute, I didn't remember it. And then I did remember it. It had been missing for 31 years. And he knew it was mine because I uh, very neatly, with a utility knife, scratched H.C. Kimball into it. It's barely visible, but it's there. So this is what's known as a perfect handle screwdriver. And it's an old style, but I bought this new. It was made by Irwin. Irwin USA. It was made in USA. I believe I bought this at the Woodcraft store in Woburn, Mass. Massachusetts, I should say. 
yeah, I lost it. I lost it and it came back and I was delighted to have it. It's a very solid screwdriver, flat tip, don't use that very often. I don't know what I would have been using it for. Maybe I was prying up the bathtub or something like that. I, who knows? But it, it's a great tool and it reminds me, this tool reminds me that when I started out in the building trades, I tried to buy good tools with the thought in mind that I'm gonna buy good tools and they're gonna last me for my whole life, for my whole career, right up till the end, right till I'm an old man. I'm gonna buy good tools and take care of them and they're gonna last me. And you know what? I can think of a couple tools that that is the case. And now this is the case, now that it's come back to me. But there are so many tools that it's like, what happened to those tools? What happened? Where did that, where I can think of tools I had, the radii plane, radii plane, or whatever it was called, that um, somebody mentioned in a comment to one of my recent uh, videos. I had one of those things. What happened to that? I don't know. That's a mystery. It's one of life's mysteries where these tools go, but sometimes they come back to you. So my question for you is, have you ever lost a tool and then years later, unexpectedly, out of the blue, you got it back? It, uh, it came back to you. That's my question. I'm, I hope somebody's got a story. If you got a story, hey, put it in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.